Controversy over graduation remarks to be given by a recent graduate of Beaver High School. The student says that she was forced to make some revisions. Revisions, her attorney claims, were a violation of her rights. Brenda Waters is live now with a story, new at 6. Brenda? Hi, Stacy. Graduation was here at the Beaver High School football stadium. It was June 2nd on a Friday night. Mariah Bridges was asked to give the closing remarks, but not permitted to say what she had written. In part, she wanted to thank God for blessings on the Beaver High School graduating class. I was told that I can't give a prayer tonight, but I have a few closing sentiments for the class of 2017. 19 year old Mariah Bridges was asked by the senior class president at Beaver High School to give the final remarks at graduation. She did, but she was told by the superintendent of the school district it would have to be a revised version. Her family hired an attorney who calls that unconstitutional censorship. The Supreme Court has been very clear on this. When this is a, a when it is private student speech, which this was, this was a closing exercise, a closing speech. Uh, it is the creation of the student uh, for the school to say you you have to change that to comport with our particular viewpoint. That's illegal. That can't be done. <laughs> The superintendent of the Beaver Area School District says she was advised by the solicitor of the district that law clearly states prayer is not permitted at graduation, even if it is student-led. She goes on to say, quote, students who speak at graduation, including the valedictorian and class president, know that the district will review their remarks in advance, and the district assumes responsibility for the content. In Mariah's case, the district could not approve a speech written as a prayer, but did approve a second version that she submitted. Although I can understand why this restriction might upset members of the community, I cannot choose which laws to follow. I was shocked because I didn't think it was illegal, and now I'm learning that um, it's not for me to give a prayer at graduation. Um, and I was, like I said before, I was hurt that I couldn't share um, what I truly felt for my fellow classmates. Now, Bridges' attorney says that he just wants to sit down with the district to let them know exactly how the law is spelled out. He says he hasn't heard back from them yet, and he says if a lawsuit is deemed, he will look into that as well. Meantime, Bridges heads to Grove City College in the fall. She says she plans to major in political science. Reporting live in Beaver County, Brenda Waters, KDKA TV News.